As the U.S. media showdown continues against Russia's steps in Ukraine, blaming Moscow for the crisis in the country, as well as accusing it of an invasion, some American politicians are speaking up. It's not so simple, with the U.S. having played a big role in events currently unraveling. Former presidential candidate and Ohio Congressman Dennis Kucinich, speaking with Fox News host Bill O'Reilly, basically said that what's going on surrounding Ukraine now is due to the U.S. stirring the pot with behind-the-scenes support for the mess. What I do is not have USAID and the National Endowment for Democracy working with U.S. taxpayers' money to knock off an elected government in Ukraine, which is what they did. I wouldn't try to force the people of Ukraine into a deal with NATO against their interests or into a deal right, with so the European Union, fault, which is against Putin their economic interests. Interest. Of course, uh, Bill O'Reilly's fear-mongering and hate-filled position on Russia's politics is well known, so uh, he would have none of this. As a response, Kucinich had this to say. Bill O'Reilly, if you don't believe in cause and effect, I don't know what I can do for you. The congressman believes the U.S. should stay out of Ukraine's business and let the Ukrainian people decide their own future, which, according to him, has not been the case at all. The result, Kucinich said, are neo-Nazis in control on the ground. Clearly, the likes of Bill O'Reilly not understanding these concepts is not surprising, considering the tsunami of misinformation that has been making headlines. If you recall, a major story in the media had been an uh, alleged ultimatum from Russia that was actually never made to Ukrainian troops to surrender or there would be an attack. When Russia denied this, no one wanted to buy it in the mainstream media. But even military personnel in Crimea had confirmed that no such ultimatum was ever issued. And obviously nothing happened. Then the media moved on to spin the idea that there are 16,000 Russian troops deployed in Crimea. This is even more interesting because, uh, according to agreements existing between Kiev and Moscow, Russia actually has the right to have as many as 25,000 troops on the ground. It's had a naval base there for years, and uh, no one had dubbed that an invasion. It's unclear what has changed, considering Russia's president has not issued a command to deploy troops now. What did happen is approval from Russia's Federation Council. Putin has explained that an actual deployment of the Russian military would only be a very last resort. We've also seen reports concerning the presence of Russian tanks. But according to Ukraine's own border patrol, however, no Russian military equipment had come into Ukraine. Drills did take place a week ago, but that was on Russian territory and not Ukrainian. Again, this is not what the media have been reporting. Russia has never said it wants war with Ukraine or that it's interested in annexing Crimea. But that's nowhere to be seen in media headlines, beating up war drums in an already very complex situation in Ukraine. Anastasia Cherkina, RT, New York.